Once you are using variables in your model, you might want to create a few variations, predefined settings of the variables. Ultimately, these can be linked to a data group catalog item, but even if you don't plan to create multiple catalog items linked to different variations, they can be useful while testing the constraints in your model. So let's select the Variations tab and create a new variation. Give it a name, let's say 500 by 500. Then set the variables as you want for this variation. Then when you select the check mark, it applies these values to the model and you can check that the geometry is behaving properly. Let's create a second variation that is 400 by 600 and again change the variable values. We can apply these to the model and again check that everything is updating correctly based on the variables and constraints. So far everything looks good. Let's add two more 2D shapes. These are just for the plan graphics and will not actually be used to create 3D geometry. We need two circles, one to represent the faucet location and one to represent the drain. We could create variables to define the radius of these circles but since these are typically standard across the industry, we are just going to use a fixed dimension. Place the first circle with a diameter of 25 millimeters. Near the origin of the cell. Just offset by 35 millimeters. We don't need to constrain the geometry since we always want this to be in the same location relative to the origin. The second circle for the drain needs a larger diameter and needs to be constrained to always be at the center of the bowl. Let's start by placing it off center and then constrain it. There are several ways this could be done. We will do it using the construction lines. First, we need to constrain the second construction line to be at the midpoint of the bowl edge. Once that is done, we can constrain the circle to be coincident to each of the construction lines, resulting in its placement being constrained to the intersection. We can then test it by applying each of the variations. So the 2D geometry is looking good. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.